Today we're in Denver, Colorado. I'm here with Joel and his 1996 Tacoma. Dude, how's it going, man? How Pretty good. You? Pretty good, man. Yourself? Doing good, man. Thanks for having us. I can't wait to show our viewers your truck. This thing, when I saw it in the parking lot, I was like, what is that thing? It just looks so sick, dude. Towards the end of this video, I got Joel to demonstrate the power of this Tacoma and I cannot wait for you all to see it. Let's start from the front and make our way to the back. What do you have for the front bumper? Is this custom made? No, this is a trail gear front bumper. It was just kind of off the shelf and just readily available. So that's kind of why I went with that. I have a Warren VR6. It's a lighter winch, but it's only for me and the truck's pretty light. So I only intended for self recovery. When you originally bought this truck, what, did it look like this? Nothing, nothing like this at all. This truck that came in for a lower ball joint failure, which is super common with these trucks. It sat in our lot for two years maybe? It was just teasing you. Yep, teasing. <laughs> well, at the time I was like, let's get this junk out of here. I don't want it. It was a plumber's truck. It had a ladder rack on the back. Bruh. Bought it two years later after it came to the shop. The guy just didn't want anything to do with it. So then I just picked it up off of him for a thousand bucks. And at the time it needed a lot of work. The transmission didn't have first or reverse. The engine had 477,000 miles on it. It was super tired. It was just ready to get ripped out. And Dude, do. talking about the engine. Yeah. I didn't want to geek out with you too much before this walk around. Yeah, yeah. What do you have up here? This truck originally came with a 3.4, which is kind of rare because these single cabs don't have a uh, 3.4 in them originally. And that was one reason why I kind of caught my eye and I just said, all right, I need to have this truck. And then just kind of put a new engine in it. Well, newer engine, had about 150,000 when I put it in. And then I just said, hey, let's keep the party going and let's just throw a supercharger on it. Dude, a Magnuson supercharger. How much horsepower is it doing right now to the oh, wheel? Oh, I don't even know. Honestly, I'd be lying if I said, I, I think I'm somewhere like 200, 220 something. I Did mean, you feel the difference when you oh, added it? Oh, instantly. Yeah, it, it, it burns them first through second, just about. What about uh, wheels and tires? The wheels and tires, I'm rocking Falcon MTs. They've seen better days, just a little worn and chunked out around beadlock black rhinos. You know, it does everything I ask it to and lets me air down to zero. Dude, you so. can clearly see that you've been using this. Truck. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's definitely a few seasons. Probably since I've owned a truck, I've had these. What about suspension? Is this oh, long yeah. travel or is yep. this just? Long travel, yep. Yeah, so we're sitting at total chaos is three and a half inch with uh, king coilovers. So. That is rad. And what about the back suspension? Oh, back suspension is kind of a hodgepodge of stuff. So I started with Chevy 63s and that's a longer leaf spring. And with that, I did longer shocks. So I did 12 inch King. What do you use this truck for mostly? Crawling. Crawling is kind of what I built this truck for. But lately these days I've been doing more of a daily driver role than anything. Have you done anything to it inside? That's kind of all I got going on. And I mean, as you can see, the leg room's not optimal but uh, it gets the job done. I, guys, I love how much character this, this truck has, like just from the interior, exterior. So I shortened the bed about 10 inches um, from this part back. You can kind of see the seam sitting there. Just to gain more clearance. Yeah, just to gain more of a departure angle. And uh, I just kind of love the look. Did you make this rear bumper yourself? Yeah, me and, me and a buddy did. Kind of showing me how a two bender works and we whipped this up. It was pretty cool. So I was, I was excited for it. Is there anything else that I might have missed on? I mean, re-gear, 529s. Almost yeah. missed out on this. Well, for the long travel, right? You have yep. to go with glass. Yep, long travel, glass. And you know, to me, I just see this truck every day. So I kind of, it's like, eh, it is what it is to me. This is a 96 front end. That's why you don't see them too often. Yeah. And uh, I just love the square headlights. And that's kind of why I chose to stick with the, the square headlights. Let me ask you one last question. Are you down to rip it for us? Just uh, two, two donuts maybe? Only if you're comfortable. Of course I'm comfortable, you're a special guest. Yes, here we go, hit it. Dude, that was freaking epic. You absolutely send it. You got me stoked. I think you got Austin stoked too. He's about to send it on his car right now. We're all just freaking excited, man. That was so cool. Thanks for having me. Appreciate the walk around. Dude, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. That thing, guys, ripped. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.